welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last lecture, I have showed you how to code and design this uh, search member form. Okay, so in this, I have shown you how to search a particular member with the ID that is like two. You can search here and like six. You can search here. Everything will be searched. And today, I'm going to show you how to code for this delete member and how to write program for this delete member. So let me just close this and let me just start with this so first what we need is okay so let me just show you first that what we are going to do today let me just start the complete project and just enter admin and the password that is admin and just log in okay so in this i will show you how to design this it's same like previous one and but and the difference is i have coded this to delete the data okay so let me just if you two and if you Click on this delete, it will ask for this will affect your data. Do you want to confirm delete this though? So I'm just going to know. So I'm going to show you everything, how it's working. So let me just start with this. Okay. So let's go to our original project. Here you can see. Now, first what we need is one form. So for that, just go to Solution Explorer. And here you can still right click on your project name and search add. And just click on add. And after that, click on Windows form this I'm just naming it to delete member okay so delete member and just hit enter now new form will be created I want that this form needs to be of the same size of the previous one so let me just copy the size of this just copy and paste just go to properties and paste the size and hit enter so you can see now uh, what I want is when I click on this uh, delete member, this form needs to be open. That is delete form.cs. So how to do that? Just double click on this delete member and delete member click event will be generated. So let me just show you. So let me just check the name of this. Go to properties and here you can see this. The name of this delete member tool strip. And here you can see this delete member tool strip menu item. And here you have to create the object of this form. That is delete member dm equals new delete member form okay so let me just now now with this object you need to just call in method that is so and just hit enter now click on this now start the project and when you click on this now new form delete member will is now opening so now I want this to be opened in the center. So I have shown you how previously to do that. I'm showing you once again, just click on this and go to the properties of this form. And after that, search for start position. Here you have to select the center screen. Just save it. Now start it and see if it's popping up in the center or not. So now it's popping up in the center. You can do this n times, but it will be in the center of the screen. Okay, so now what we need is we need first we need it to set the image into the background so let me just set the image into the background so how to do that so just search for background image in the properties of this form yeah. just click on this and click local resources and in local resources I have selected this image and just hit ok so it's quite large it's in the tile format just so just search for background image layout if you are having this type of problem and select this stretch and here you can see this now it's on the proper size okay so let me just copy this logo okay and just paste it here just move it to the top okay and now i need one label that is here just drag and drop it after that i need text box drag and drop it after that i need button just drag and drop it here and i need one data grid here to show the data okay so just drag and drop it here okay and just make it large this one actually Uh, so that you can enter the ID in this and put it into the right position. Okay, 
So let me just change the name of this button. So let me just change this button to delete. And okay, so sorry, it's actually I changed the design name, so that's why its text is not changed. So let me just change this design name to do button BTN delete and just change its text name to okay. So here we go. So let me just unchange this label name to enter ID. Hit enter. Just hit enter and here you can see this now name is changed. So let me just place it into the right place. Okay, so now here we have here this is fine now. So what I need is when I click on this button, we need to delete the record whose ID is entered into this. Okay, so how to do that? Just double click on this to generate a click event. I have just double clicked on this here. Here you can see we have to just uh, Create a SQL connection in the previous video. I have shown you how to make a SQL connection. So let me just copy this code and just paste it here. Okay. So in this, you have to just actually you have to add this package. Import this package that is SQL client. Okay. I either you can write this manually or you have to just do what I have did right now and we have to remove this line okay and we have to write delete delete from new member because new member is the table name where member data is actually stored new member and where its m id is equals what is the id that is from txt text box one dot text there we go so now when i click on this delete button this will delete the data from the database okay and i don't need this i don't want to assign any value to the database okay so just remove this but i want that let me just start it and when you delete here you can see uh when you delete just two and when you i click and on this delete button then it will delete the data in the background so I don't want it right now so what I want I just want that uh, when this form loads I need the data into that uh, data grid view so how to do that just code on this load event so what to actually do is you just need to copy the code up from the previous that I have shown you so actually you have to copy this this one so this is the same data you want to load here. So let me just go and then load it and just paste it and start it. Here you can see you have all the data. What I want is I want to delete this three, so actually six number. Okay, so just click on this, enter six and just hit this delete. So it will not uh, give any confirmation message, but it will delete the data. So let me just here you can see this now six is missing So it has deleted the data. What I want is I want a confirmation message that if you want to delete Are you sure or, or not like in my pre previously? I have shown you let me just show you once again so Just click on this and here you can see this now I am entering seven and when I click on this, it's asking for this will affect your data. Do you want to confirm? I'm just no, then it will not delete this data. So how to do this? Let me just show you. You have to put it into a if else condition. Okay, inside this if. What we have to check is if. Let me just in this you have to create a message box, show a message box, message box dot show. And in this show, you have to write this will delete your data. Okay, and after that, I want to write just that confirm, confirm question mark. And after that, you just need to name the pop up window. Okay pop-up form actually pop-up message box you need to pop-up name the message box that is delete 
data and after that you have to use one message box button that is cancel or uh, okay or cancel that is maxis box button so which which buttons you want either yes or no and in this here we we have done with this message box and what i need is when this answer is yes so we are checking that dialog result dot yes if the answer of that let me just close it inside this bracket if here you can see this when i click on this delete button it will generate a message box in this it will say that this will delete your data do you want to confirm and this is the name of that message box and it shows two button yes or no if user enter yes then this will execute this query it means that that particular id data will be deleted from this database and if it's click no then what i need to do is i want that first thing that this form needs to be activated so this dot activate and after that loads the same data into that data grid so let me just copy this and paste it here just save it okay so now let me just execute it okay so i missed this line so let me just save it now now start and when I click on this delete member, now it's loading with the data. And when I enter some ID like two, or let me just enter seven and delete. So this will affect your data. If you click no, then it will not delete any data. Let me just show you. Now here you can see this. Now number seven is still here. So let me just seven and hit this delete and confirm it with yes. Now it will delete the data. And let me just show you yes or no. So here you can see this now seven is deleted. Okay, so uh, this uh, now we are done with this delete member button. Okay, so now I am going to show you how to code for this exit button. Okay, so for that we have to move to this form one. So I hope you understand this delete member how it's working. You just need to pause the video and copy the code. Okay, so let me just close this. Okay, so form one. So here, what I need to do is when I click on this exit, it's I want that it uh, actually closes this uh, application. So just double click on this to generate a exit click event. Okay. So for that, uh, in the same way, we have to write for this. So if I want to show a message box dot show. And here you want to see this this will close your application and do you want to confirm so it's asking for confirm and after that I want to name this close and after that I want few buttons that is message box one yes or no message box button that it will be dot yes or no and I want to show uh, error logo okay so message box icon dot error so it will be a cross sign over there let me just make it small okay so don't worry for the, about these red lines and it's checking for if dialog result is dot yes if it's yes then what I need to do is I want to just close this application application dot close sorry application dot exit I want to exit this application so just if it click no then it will be Okay, and I want to show a message that is let me just show message box dot show welcome back. Uh, here you can see this 
and in this I want uh, one button and one icon too so let me just name this welcome and I want this to be let me just message box dot button oh, sorry message box button dot ok I need only one button that is ok and message icon will be I can dot tick here. Okay, so it will be a recognition hand information none or question mark stop on information. Let me just put this and let me just start this. And now if you click on this, it will ask for well, this will close your application and confirm. So when I click no, welcome back. Okay. So it's looking nice. If I click on this and click on yes, it will close the application. So in today's video, I have shown you how to program for this delete and uh, for this exit. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually design the login page. And after designing the login page, this login page, how to design this and how to port that. I have set this admin and admin and how this is working logging in and logging out is working so the next video i will show you these two so that's it for the today's video thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and for more videos check my playlist thanks